I think you are the only uh, composer who performed his own work in this Gaudiamus week. I studied both, mm -hmm. uh, composition and guitar, mm -hmm. and um, at the moment now I just only perform my own pieces. Uh, sometimes some other, uh, but I'm not a guitarist who play all things, and uh, so I have not so much time to do this like this. But um, for me, it's very interesting to do it myself with my own pieces on the stage. Mm -hmm. um, but um, so there are so many things which I can't write in the score. What I uh, intense with my music and yeah. if I can do it myself and uh, it's the best yes, <laughs> yes, uh, way yeah. to uh, communicate with the audience yes. Yes. Um, Could you tell something about the piece which you performed this week? Um, it's a piece for amplified prepared guitar mm -hmm. and electronics and the guitar is prepared with two spoons Uh, between the strings and um, uh, with also with a capo duster and so I have several parts of the guitar which I can play separately so I have an instrument with not only one instrument but f five instruments mm -hmm. uh, with uh, different tunings and the guitar uh, has four contact microphones mm -hmm. Um, on uh, several places so um, that I can like uh, a loop mm -hmm. or a, a look on the guitar at several places where it's sounding there and there mm -hmm. um, and these sounds of the guitar are um, uh, come to uh, eight loudspeakers which are around the audience okay. yes. um, and they are moving so that the audience has, uh, uh, or for the audience, it's like to sit in the guitar, in the guitar sounds, and uh, be way close to to the sounds and to me. Yeah. It's a very intimate yes. uh, atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. It was very interesting not only to listen to the piece, but also to look at you playing. Oh. So there's a almost a theatrical quality to it. Uh, yes, therefore I'm sitting not in front of the public, but uh, in the profile, mm -hmm. so that um, you can maybe you can can't see the guitar and something is not uh, so clear what I'm doing. But um, all the movements which I do with my playing and uh, not normal movements, you can see much clearer. Uh, in this way. Yes. Because the spoons, for instance, were not visible from where I was sitting and half of the audience. But they were very clear, of course, in the video you've made of the piece. Ah. For me, what, uh, it was very interesting to make this video. Um, to think about uh, how can I document this piece or how can I uh, visualize this. Um, so it's for me it's not possible to document it mm -hmm. uh, because of the loudspeakers and so um, so I looked for something um, for the way close and near uh, hearing of the sounds mm -hmm. to make an analog uh, visual yeah. uh, effect okay. which is so close and you can see my fingers also and yeah. uh, but not me as a person who is no, no. playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Could you tell me something about the title? It's Grün Trübe Ritornelle beim Verlassen des Territoriums, which sounds like uh, a, a story in itself. <laughs> it's a little bit strange, the title. Um, uh, Ritornelle is a musical uh, form mm -hmm. which something has come again on mm -hmm. several times. Yeah. Um, Grün Trüb, like green, moody. Um, which is uh, my own association of the special sound of the microtonal harmonic mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also a um, sound grün, trübe, ritornelle um, and beim Verlassen des Territoriums its territorium is a territory which you leave 
the, the territory of the guitar which I leave uh, with the loudspeakers, the territory of the um, um, normal tuning uh, which I leave and it's often several um, um, uh, there's uh, several kinds from leaving mm -hmm. the f yeah. territory. Yes. So it's territory in the in the sense of the the regular, normal, mm. uh, usual ways of playing, mm. harmonies, etc., etc. And also the room of the guitar, okay. uh, which is uh, another territory. Yeah. Uh, becomes. Is, is there something which you could could point out that this was the inspiration to do it this way? Um, I'm playing guitar since uh, over 20 years, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so grow up with a normal classical guitar repertoire mm -hmm. and always I'm looking for how to make music which is for guitar but doesn't sound like guitar and has become a real uh, another instrument mm -hmm. and um, so it was a very long way to uh, um, of um, playing guitar and um, uh, looking for something which is new for me and mm -hmm. for the guitar playing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. This motivation comes from, from playing guitar and from, from this yeah. energy and to... Um, for me it's, it's a piece um, uh, which is physical um, over my level every time if I'm playing. Maybe it's... Um, it don't look like it, but it's so um, hard to play like this for mm. two minutes and mm. to have this yes, uh, yeah. uh, physical uh, extreme conditions. Yeah. And this is, I'm interested what kind of sound uh, comes through this physical extreme. Yes. Um, yeah, so long gestures yeah. with uh, one minute or two minutes. Um, they uh, sound uh, very easy, mm -hmm. but uh, to do this so long is uh, very hard. Yes. And so it's, uh, the sound is going to another yeah. quality. Yes. And this is what this yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, would uh, also um, leaving the territory of the, mm -hmm. the normal or usual mm -hmm. guitar sound be something which you would like to achieve by using, um, say, electronic devices or, or effect pedals or other, that, that kind of stuff? Um, uh, while uh, composed this piece, I had some ideas with live electronic and uh, so things you described. But um, now often I've played it uh, several times, this piece, and mm -hmm. the audience uh, after the concert always ask uh, what was the live electronic and <laughs> what okay. is uh, it's, there's no live electronic, it's only guitar which mm -hmm. is amplified and, yes. uh, <laughs> yes. but would it be interesting for you as as a means of searching for other sounds so to speak to use that kind of material um, yes but i also um searching for other sounds mm -hmm. but uh only while producing it myself mm -hmm. so it's for me in a higher quality uh, it's but it's easy to uh, program with a computer, with a computer yeah. and yeah. Uh, something which don't uh, sound like a guitar. Is that also why you use the spoons? Hmm? We, you've been working with spoons for a long time, right? <laughs> uh, it it also can be other things, which is between the strings. But the uh, metal spoons uh, have a special sound when I'm uh, picking on on them. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tobias, um, one more question. Yeah. Um, what are your plans or ideas or ideals for the next, say, five or ten years? Do things which I don't do now. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, maybe this guitar piece is one thing uh, um, for, for me as a guitar player also, which um, I come to another quality of guitar playing and then it's uh, a new way and so I'm looking for something which I can do to uh, develop myself to a new person <laughs> and let's plan for more than 
uh, five or ten years. <laughs> uh, okay. Tobias, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you.